First at five, was he a crime victim or a vigilante? That's what San Antonio police are trying to decide about a man accused of shooting and killing a suspected car burglar. As Katrina Weber tells us, this is the third violent clash like this in just the past few weeks. At the back of an apartment complex on Babcock Road near UTSA Boulevard, a man told San Antonio police he was suddenly facing trouble in the middle of the night. He says he heard glass breaking around two this morning, then found a man inside his car who he believed had a gun. Police say the 26-year-old shot and killed the car burglary suspect. While these types of shootings don't happen every day, car burglaries and car thefts do. SAPD's numbers show a big increase in both crimes last year. More than 21,000 car break-ins and more than 19,000 vehicles stolen. Just since January, both categories have already passed the 2,500 mark. That's when I saw a guy with a red hoodie inside one of my vehicles. So I grabbed my firearm that I keep next to my bed. This car owner who didn't want to show his face told us about two weeks ago he also faced a life or death decision outside his northeast side home. And in the pitch black, he was advancing me with what looked like he had a weapon in his hand. He ended up shooting that suspect, sending him to a hospital. I wasn't trying to take someone's life for personal property. At a West Side apartment complex last week, a suspected car thief was killed. In that case, a man told police he used gunfire to stop the suspect from driving off in his truck. While these cases are all under investigation, so far no car owners face any charges. At this time, they're all considered victims who it appears didn't want to be victimized. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.